How valuable can a 1967 quarter be? We will talk about it right after this. How much money do you really have in your pocket? A $204,000 penny found by a teenager. A $10,000 coin found in a Cheerios box. And an $18,000 penny found by one of our viewers. Got coins? JB Coins Inc. on YouTube. Daily videos and free giveaways. Join us today. Hey YouTubers, this is J and B from JB Coins Inc. In this video, we will talk about 1967 quarters worth money and error quarters to look for. The quarters struck in 1967 were struck in a clad composition and should weigh 5.67 grams. Now the weight is very important if you're looking for error coins. Always remember the basic weight of coins you're searching. If you like this topic or any topic related to coins and currency, please consider subscribing so we can help your numismatic knowledge grow while you help us grow our channel. If you're an existing subscriber, welcome back. We greatly appreciate all of you. Now, back to our video. In 1967, a total of 1,524,031,848 quarters were struck at all three mints. Now, it sounds like a huge number, but it really isn't if you think about it being the production from all the mints together. You see, coins struck in 1967 won't bear any mint mark, since mint marks were removed from all coins by order of the current mint director at the time, Eva Adams, who in 1965 blamed the coin collectors at the time for a coin shortage. So we don't know which mint produced which coins. The year 1967 is the last year that coins, not only quarters, were minted without mint marks. The next year, the US Mint resumed striking coins with mint marks on them. The 67 quarters we will talk about in this video were struck for business use, everyday transactions. Now, please don't confuse these coins with SMS coins. Since the US Mint did not strike proof sets or regular mint sets this year, it struck special mint sets in 1965, 6, and 1967. The set contained a total of five coins, which included the Lincoln Cent, Jefferson Nickel, Roosevelt Dime, Washington Quarter, and finally the Kennedy Half Dollar. All special mint set coins were struck with specially sandblasted dies that gave them a satin-like appearance. Most coins were of superb quality, and even today most examples remain in high uncirculated condition. So to make money on them, you're looking for the best of the best specimens. But like we said, the 1967 quarter we are talking about in this video are regular quarters, a business type, not the ones that came from the SMS set. And surprisingly for many, this very ordinary quarter struck in clad composition is also worth very good money. And the main reason is the poor condition of coins that were struck that year. Finding them with a high quality strike, even back in 1967 when they were new was not easy. Obviously, it's even worse today since most of them have been circulating for over 57 years. The highest grade known for this quarter is MS-68 and the quarter you see in this picture is the latest sale. Now MS, for folks new to the hobby, means mint state condition and they come in a numerical grade starting at 60. So, for mint state coins, the lowest grade is MS-60 and the highest best condition is MS-70. So this coin is in fairly high grade, but 
It's not the very best. Yet, it sold at Heritage Auctions for $4,800. It's truly great money for a regular quarter. What do you think? Would you have ever expected the 1967 business strike quarter to be that expensive? Please let us know in the comment section below. We're very curious. Do they have errors? Oh, absolutely. With the 1967 quarter struck on a cent planchet being the most popular, the price depends, like with any coin, on the coin's condition and population. This error quarter that you see in the picture now was found in someone's change. It received an MS65 grade, not a high grade, but a grade that you can easily find in your change, and it sold at Heritage Auctions for $2,200, which is not a bad profit for a 25 cent coin you found in your pocket. So always check your change. You truly might have a treasure in your pocket. Also, if you like valuable quarters, please watch our video linked in the upper corner of this one. We also would like to say thank you to all of our JB Coins Inc. members. And if you'd like to become a JB Coins Inc. family member, please follow the link below this video. We greatly appreciate it. So, we hope you liked this video and found it helpful. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe so we can create more videos for you. Also, please remember to hit the little bell and set it so you'll be notified whenever we upload a new video or do a live stream. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.